Record the lengths of both pieces of zinc in your data chart. At this time, pause and add to your we data have chart. A short piece of zinc and our piece of copper. Per your directions, I'm taking the piece of copper and I'm scratching the short piece of zinc. If it's scratched it, then you will put copper in the scratched by column. If it did not scratch it, then you would put copper in the not scratched by column. Next, I have iron, Fe. I'm going to take and scratch the small piece of zinc. If it was scratched by iron, you're going to write iron in the scratched by column. If it was not scratched by the iron, then you're going to write iron in the not scratched by column. And lastly, we have aluminum, AL. And I want to rub my finger across it, across all three of them. So if aluminum scratched zinc, you're going to write aluminum in the scratched by column. If it did not scratch it, you're gonna put aluminum in the not scratched by column. So up top, I scratched with copper. In the middle, I scratched with iron. And at the bottom, I scratched with aluminum. So you're gonna write that in the appropriate column. Pause and add now to your data chart. I have my long piece of zinc. Be mindful of the length of the long piece of zinc. I'm going to go in the same order. I have copper. I am scratching the copper with the zinc. And I'm just gonna wipe it off. So if it was scratched by copper, put it put copper in the scratched by column. If it was not scratched by copper, write copper in the not scratched by column. Next, I have iron. I'm going to go in the middle. I'm just going to wipe. Was, did iron scratch zinc? If iron scratches zinc, you're going to put iron in the scratched by column. If iron did not scratch zinc, you're going to put iron in the not scratched by column. And last we have aluminum. I'm going to scratch at the bottom. Then I'm going to wipe. If aluminum scratched the zinc, you're going to write aluminum in the scratched by column. If aluminum did not scratch zinc, you're going to write aluminum in the not scratched by column. So again, I'm just going to do a quick polish and show it up closer. At the very top, you had copper. In the middle, you had iron. And at the bottom, you had aluminum. Fill in your data table. Pause and add to your data chart. Watch this video as many times as you need and fill in your data chart. 